Hello everyone, welcome back to Atreyu Crochet. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the scarf tutorials that I have uploaded during this fourth season of my How to Crochet a Scarf series. I've uploaded I think a total of nine tutorials already. <laughs> so yeah, you have tons of tutorials to choose from for your holiday gifts. In today's video, I'll be uploading yet another one using this beautiful yarn. I will leave a link to this in the description. As you can see, it comes with four different cakes. Well, I shouldn't say four different cakes. It's the same color, uh, but four cakes. And this is a really cool yarn that I'm excited to use. I mean, you can even look at this. Just see that sheen and yeah. So. It is, this yarn is 60% cotton, 30% acrylic, 10% wool. It weighs 100 grams and has a length of 245 meters. So as I said, I'll leave a link to this in the description box if you want to use this yarn. They have different colors as well, so um, you can always choose a color that works for you. In this pack, which was not very expensive, uh, comes a couple of crochet hooks as well. So this yarn calls for a four millimeter crochet hook US. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the hook that comes with it. By the way, this is the other hook that came with it and it's a three and a half millimeter. So you can use either of those. I'm gonna use the four and yeah, it's blue. That might have something to do with why I chose that one. <laughs> you're gonna need a darning weave and tapestry needle, okay? And you're gonna need a pair of scissors. Let's get to this, this scarf. I hope you guys like it because I worked hard on trying to find the perfect balance between, you know, a scarf that looks very beautiful, but that's not too hard, especially for you beginners who watch my videos. So as always, we are going to start out with a slip knot. So you'll take the yarn, wrap it around your finger, twist exchange now wrap it around your finger that way we're going to pull this one over that one and off our finger while lifting up on the one that's still on our finger you'll insert your crochet hook and then you will pull to tighten so you want to crochet for this it's a scarf so it's not going to be super wide i think this how many chains i'm going to make is sufficient okay um but say if you want to make maybe like a blanket or something, then uh, I'll just tell you a multiple of four. So my multiple of four will be 16. Four times four is 16. So crochet 16 chains. One, two, three, four, five, and don't make them too tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so this is how wide my scarf will be. It's the 16 chains. And now we're going to crochet a single crochet to the second chain from the hook. So here's the hook, here's the first chain from the hook. And to the second chain from the hook, that's where we're going to put a single crochet. And then we're going to put a single crochet into all the rest of the chains across. Okay? So I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook. Right there. Yarn over. Pull through to the front for two loops. One, two. Yarn over. And then go through two. One, two. And now, as I said, we're gonna put one single crochet in every chain across. So here's the next chain right there. Okay, we enter like that. Yarn over, pull through to the front for two loops. Now we're gonna yarn over and go through two. One, two. Okay, and you're just gonna continue putting one single crochet in every chain across and I'll meet you once we get to the other side, okay? I'll see you there. So for row one, this is what you're gonna have, okay? You're gonna have a total of 15 
single crochets. Why 15? Well, we started with 16 chains, but then we skipped a chain in the beginning and crocheted into the second chain. So since we skipped a chain, there were only 15 chains left for us to crochet into. So you should have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? Alright, so for the row 2, we're going to chain 1, okay, like that. And into this very last single crochet of row 1, right there, okay, we're going to put a double crochet, okay? So I stuck that in there so you can see. I'll turn my work. And in there where that darn weaving tapestry needle that is, that's where we're going to put our double crochet. So I'll take that out now. I'm going to yarn over and right in there. So I yarn over to make the double crochet. I slice the icing off the top of the cake. Okay, see the top of the stitch there? And now I yarn over and pull through to the front for three loops. One, two, three. I'll now yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through one, two. Okay, and then I'm gonna yarn over and go through the remaining two. So yarn over, go through two. One, two, okay? In the next stitch, the next single crochet, I'm gonna put another double crochet, okay? so. I'll yarn over. Here's the next one. Slice the icing off the top of the cake and give me the aerial view. Yarn over, pull through to the front for three loops. Yarn over, go through two. One, two. Yarn over, go through two. One, two. I'm going to put a double crochet in the next two. Okay, so yarn over, slice the icing off the top of the cake of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Okay, that's three. One, two, three. We have one more to make. Yarn over, slice the icing off the top of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front for two loops. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. So this is how we're gonna start every row. And it's also going to be how we end every row. We're going to start with four regular double crochets, okay? And then we're going to end with four regular double crochets. There are going to be seven stitches in the center where we're going to alternate between a puff stitch and a regular double crochet. So we're about to do that now. So we're going to start out with the next stitch and we're going to make our first puff stitch. So you yarn over. Go into the next stitch, which is there, slice the icing off the top of the cake, yarn over, pull through to the front for three loops. Yarn over again, go back in there, okay? Yarn over, pull through to the front. And now you're going to see that you're going to have one, two, three, four, five stitches, okay? We're going to now yarn over and go through the first four stitches. So go through one two, three, and four. That's going to leave us with two loops on our crochet hook and now we're going to yarn over and go through two. One, two. And that's the puff stitch, okay? Now in the next stitch we're going to put a regular double crochet so we yarn over, slice the icing off the top of the cake, yarn over, pull through to the front for three loops, yarn over, go through two, one, two, yarn over, go through two, one, two. Now it's time for the puff stitch again. Yarn over, slice the icing off the top of the cake, yarn over, pull through to the front, that's one. Now we yarn over again, go back in there, that same place, yarn over, pull through to the front again, yarn over, go through four, one, two, three, four, and now we yarn over and go through the last two. One, two, okay? Now it's time for a regular double crochet. Slice the icing on top of the cake in the next stitch and make your double crochet, okay? So right now, we've crocheted puff, regular, puff, regular, double crochet. That's 
four stitches, so we have three more to go. All right, so now, you guys, it's time for another puff. So yarn over and make your puff. And I like to count how many times I actually go in, in there. So I yarn over, so yarn over, pull through to the front. That's one. Yarn over, go back in there. Yarn over, pull through to the front for two. And now, once I get to two, I know it's time to complete the stitch. So I go through the first four. One, two, three, four, and then complete the last two. Okay, that's five. Here's another regular double crochet, which is six, and then I end with the puff. So one, and then go back in there, yarn over, pull through to the front for two, and now it's time to start completing this. Going through the first four. If you lose it, it's okay. Just start it over, it's not a big deal. It happens. One, back in there for two. Okay, now complete the puff like that. All right, so we should have four stitches left because remember we have to end the way we started. We started with the four double crochets, the four consecutive double crochets. That's how we want to end. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four. That's perfect. So now we just finish off with four regular double crochets. One, next stitch. Two. And don't forget you guys can slow this down on YouTube. Next stitch is three. Okay. And then the final stitch right there. If it's hard to see, give yourself the aerial view. Slice the icing off the top of the cake. And make your fourth one. Okay. And that's what you have. It doesn't look like much right now, but it's going to be beautiful. Okay. So. We started with four, then we started alternating puff, regular puff, regular puff, regular puff. So you end with the puff, you end and start, start and end with the puff, and then four regular at the end. Let's start row three. So remember I told you you're going to start this way every row, no matter what side we're on, okay? So you chain one, like that, and into that stitch where that chain one is coming out of. In this case, it's the last double crochet. Right in there is where we're gonna put a double crochet, okay? So we chain one, we'll yarn over, because we're making a double crochet, and we're gonna go right into that stitch. Slicing the icing off the top of the cake and make our double crochet. And now we know the first four stitches get double crochets. That's one, so we have three more to put a double crochet into. So next stitch gets one. That's two. Next stitch gets one. That's the third one. And then the next stitch gets one. That is the fourth one. So there are our four starting double crochets. Now we're going to match the stitch. What do I mean? Well, if you see here, that's the puff stitch. If you forget, you can always turn it over and look over here. And you say, oh, yeah. That is a puff stitch. It looks different than the double crochets on either side. That's the puff stitch. So right now, we are going to front post a puff stitch into the puff stitch, and we're going to put a regular double crochet into the regular stitch. Okay, So this is what it's going to be. So we know that since this right here is a puff, we're going to put a puff in it. And on this side, our front side, that we're on, you know, because the tail is over here, uh, we're going to post. So what that means is we're going to yarn over, go from the front to the back like that, go around the puff stitch and come back out to the front just on the other side like that, okay? And then we'll yarn over and pull through for three loops. And we're going to do it again, yarn over, Go behind the puff stitch, come out on the other side like that again. Exactly what we did the first time. Yarn over, pull through to the front. And now we have those five loops on our crochet hook. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to yarn over and go through the first four. So yarn over, go through one, two, three, four. And now we're going to yarn over and go through the remaining two, just like before. One, two, okay? And that's what you have. Now we know the next stitch is a regular double crochet. You may have to 
hole a little bit to see. So in that, we're just gonna slice the icing off the top of the cake and make a double crochet like that, okay? The next stitch is a puff stitch, so we're gonna do the same thing we just did before. Yarn over, go behind and come back out to the other side, yarn over and pull through. That's one. Yarn over, go behind again and come out on the other side. Yarn over, pull through to the front and that's two. And now it's time to finish this puff stitch. So yarn over, go through the first four. That leaves two loops. Yarn over, go through the remaining two. And that's what that looks like. Now we're gonna yarn over. The next stitch is a regular double crochet, so we just put a double crochet in the top of it. Slice and ice off the top of the cake. Okay, let's do it again. Yarn over, here's the next puff right there. That's the next stitch, so from the front, out to the back, come back out around to the front just on the other side of the puff stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front for three loops. Yarn over, do it again. Go behind the puff stitch around and come back out to the front just on the other side of it. Okay, yarn over and pull through to the front. Yarn over, go through the four. One, two, three, four. And then yarn over and go through the remaining two. One, two. Okay. The next stitch is a regular double crochet. So we just yarn over, pull it open so you can see it, and then slice the icing off the top of the cake. All right. And I don't know if you guys remember, but this middle section we start and end with the puff stitch. So I know this is the last one because we have to end with the puff. So yarn over. On the right side from the front to the back, back out to the front, just on the other side of the puff. Yarn over, pull through. Now yarn over, do it again. And if your yarn is doing some weird loops, just <laughs> take it all out. Make sure it's right. Okay, so yarn over, let's do it again. Go behind, yarn over, pull through to the front for three loops. Yarn over, do it again, pull through to the front. I'll yarn over, go through the first four. Yarn over, go through the remaining two. All right, so that's our middle section. Okay, this is what it looks like. I know the light may make it a little hard to see what's happening, but it's really beautiful. And then we should have, since we finished that, finished that middle section, we know we should have four stitches on the end. Let's see, one, two, three, four, perfect. So all of those just get regular double crochets. So one, next stitch, slice in the icing two, next stitch, slicing the icing off the top of the cake, three, and final stitch go into the top of that double crochet. It can look weird because you did the chain one and then the double crochet, so just give yourself the area of you to find the top, identify it like that, and then make your double crochet. Okay, so that's what that looks like. All right, let's start row four. By the way, this pattern will have a two row repeat. We just completed row three, which is the first of the two row repeat. And now we're about to start row four, which will be the second of second row of the two row repeats, okay? All right, let's start row four. So pay attention. Chain one, remember I told you always do that. Turn your work and into that very first stitch, we're gonna put the double crochet. All right, we know we have three more regular double crochets to make because each end has the four regular double crochets. So we'll just slice the icing off the top of the cake and make our double crochet. That's two, next one. That's three, next one. That's four. Now we're starting that seven stitch middle area where we have the puff regular puff, regular puff, regular puff, okay? So this first one is a puff, but because we're on the back side, we're gonna just do a regular puff stitch in the top of the stitch. So we're gonna slice the icing off the top of the cake. I don't know if you can tell from this side, but this is a puff. If you need help to identify it, oh yeah, it is a puff. So that's where we're gonna be going, in the top of that puff stitch there. It's turned around, and you see it's confirmed that that's the puff. So yarn over, slice the icing off the top of the cake, like that. Yarn over, pull through to the front, do it again. Yarn over, go back in there, 
for two. All right, and now yarn over, go through the first four, yarn over, go through two. Next one is a regular double crochet, so we just slice the icing off the top of the cake and make a double crochet. So we're matching the stitches. The next one is a puff, so slice the icing off the top of the cake. Do it again. And now yarn over, go through four, yarn over, go through two. The next one is a regular double crochet, so we slice the icing off the top of the cake and make a double crochet. The next one is a puff. That's for one. Yarn over, go back in there. And that's for two. Yarn over, go through four. Yarn over, go through the remaining two. Okay. The next one is a regular double crochet. So we just make the double crochet in the top. And then remember we end with the puff. Yarn over, slice the ice off the top of the cake. And make your puff. So that's one. For these puff stitches, we're only going in, in the stitch twice. Some people, and in other patterns, you can go through three times, okay? Yarn over, go through three, or I'm sorry, go through four. One, two, three, and four, and then yarn over, go through two. And then we know we should be ending with the final four. So regular double crochet, slicing the icing off the top of the cake. So that's one, next stitch is two, next stitch is three, final stitch, that's the one with the chain one double crochet, just find the top of the double crochet, give yourself the area of you and you'll find it, and that's four, okay? All right, so that's the second row of our two row repeat, now it's time to start the repeat rows again, okay? So remember you always start the same way, chain one, Turn your work, yarn over, go into that very first stitch where that chain one is coming out of and put your double crochet. The first four stitches are double crochet. So that's one, next stitch is the second double crochet. The next stitch is the third double crochet. The next stitch is the fourth double crochet. And now, because we're on the front side, we're gonna post around the puff stitches, okay? Remember you, Start and end with puff stitches. So it's puff, regular puff, regular puff, regular puff, and then it's the four. What that looks like is, so remember, front side of our work, our tail is off to the left. So front side of our work is when we do the front posting. Yarn over from the right, through the back, back out to the front for one, and then do it again for two, and then go through four, Go through two. Next one is a regular. The next one is the front post puff stitch. One, two, okay. The next one is regular. Next, next one is the front post, front post puff. <laughs> one, two, I don't know if that's technically if it technically has a name, but that's what we're doing, so that's what I'm calling it, the front post puff stitch. <laughs> okay. And then, next one. Front post puff. Okay. Alright, and now we should be at the our last four. So, just a regular double crochet in the last four. So, one, next one. Two, the third one is there. Slice the icing off the top of the cake, of course. You guys know this well now. Three. And then the final one, just give yourself the area of you, find the top. As always, and that's four. Okay. So that's row one of our two row repeat. Now it's time to do the second row. I'll show you one more time. As always, Start by chaining one, turn your work, yarn over, put a double crochet in that very first stitch there, slicing the icing off the top of the cake. So the first four stitches get a regular double crochet. It's two, next stitch, it's three, next stitch, four. Alright, we're on the back side. 
the tail is off to the right so on the back side also you don't see the beautiful puff stitches as easily right so we're off to the back side whenever you're on the back side you only work in the tops of the stitches there's no posting around any stitch that should make it easy to remember all right I'm at the puff stitch now okay so what I'm going to do is put a puff stitch in it but I'm going to put it in the top of the stitch one two and now Next one is a regular double crochet. The next one is a puff. Remember, only in the tops of the stitches, no posting on the back side. The next one is a regular double crochet. So make sure you're slicing the icing off the top of the cake. The next one is a puff. One, two. The next one is regular. Alright, the final one is a puff. Remember we start and end that seven stitch center pattern with the puff stitch. Alright, and now we should have four regular double crochets on the end. I've said it several times now, but remember the back side, you only work into the tops of the stitches. No posting. Okay. Three. And four. Okay. Chain one, turn your work, and then in the first one put your double crochet, and then one in the next three. One, two, and three. And then we'll start our puff. Remember, once again, because it's the front of the work, you know it because you can easily see the puffs, that's when we pull. So we iron over, pull through, posting around it, yarn over, that's two, and then go through the first four, go through the remaining two, and then finish it, okay? So you guys know how to do this. Wow, this is a beautiful colorway. Look how gradually it just changes into each color, okay? So as always, I'm gonna put some length on this and then when I come back, we will wrap up this video. I'll let you know how many of these cakes I end up using. I've never used this type of yarn before, so I don't know how long it's, how long, how long a scarf <laughs> this cake will yield. I might need to. Um, but no, I think this is a beautiful pattern. And you guys probably can't see it from the video, but it really has this beautiful sheen to it. Um, so yes, if you wanna make yours wider, you can do so. Remember to do multiples of four. And remember to start with the four double crochets on one side and end with the four double crochets on the other side. And so, the center is just the alternating between the puff and the regular double crochets. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. Crochet, I will as well, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I wanted to demonstrate just a couple more rows while I'm in the lighter area of the yarn, okay? I'm on the back side right now, and I'm about to turn to the front side, so I chain one, I turn my work. I always start out by putting a double crochet in the first four stitches, including that one where that chain one is coming out of, so I just go in there. And make my double crochet and then the next three stitches slicing the icing off the top of the cake will also get the double crochet and this is the fourth stitch over okay now I'm on the front side so I do the front post puff stitches so I yarn over from right to left behind that stitch now I yarn over pull through and I do that again yarn over from right to left, yarn over, pull through, and then I yarn over, go through all but those last two, and then yarn over, go through two. And then next one is a regular double crochet. Next one is the front post puff, right to left, yarn over, do it again, right to left, and create the puff. Next one is a regular, slice and ice, not the top of the cake. The next one is a front post puff, one, then again, two. Next one is a regular, 
looks nice and nice off the top of the kick of that stitch. And then front post puff twice. Right to left. Okay. And then I end the way I started, which is with four regular double crochets. One, next one, two, next one, three, final one, four. Okay. And this is what you have. Front post puffs on the front side. Now I chain one. Time for the second row of the two row repeat. As I said, always put the double crochet in the first four stitches, including the first one where that chain one is coming out of. That's one. Next stitch is two. Next stitch is three. I'm just slicing the ice off the top of these. Next stitch is four. Now it's time to match the stitches. Okay. So now I'm in that section where I alternate between the puff stitch and the regular double crochet. Because I'm on the back side, there's no posting. Remember that. So this next stitch is a puff. I can tell it's kind of sitting back there, but if I couldn't tell, I could always turn around and look. Ah, uh, yeah, that is the front post puff. So I still work into the tops of the stitches. Still making the puff stitch, but not posting. Just working in the tops of the stitches. Okay, so remember on the back side, all your stitches are just worked into the tops of the stitches. So puff regular puff stitch regular double crochet and I end with the puff stitch there in that middle section normally I make my puff stitches by going into the stitch three times but for this pattern I'm only doing it twice and then I have these four regular double crochets to make on the end Remember, symmetry is everything in crochet, you guys. Okay. Two. Three. And then the final stitch. Find the top, give yourself the aerial view, and that's your fourth one. Okay, chain one. And then start the two-row repeat over again. Okay, so it's very easy. I just want to pop back on to make sure you can see it in the lighter color, just in case having trouble seeing it down here okay all right I still have this much of this cake left so I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll check back in so it is time to finish this scarf off I'm gonna end with a row of single crochet this is how much yarn I have left so that'll be more than enough to complete this final row all right so I'm gonna chain one turn my work and in that very same stitch, I'm going to put a single crochet. So I'll slice the icing off the top of the cake and then make a single crochet. And then I'm just going to put a single crochet in every stitch across, slicing the icing off the top of the cake. Here's the next one. Slice the icing off the top of the cake, yarn over, and make my single crochet. Remember, you should have the same number of stitches that you had at the beginning. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's see how my memory treats me. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14, okay, so it was 15, that's right, it was 15, okay, and this is what it'll look like on the back side. And when you turn it over, this is what it will look like on the front side, where those front post puff stitches are. Alright, so now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to cut my yarn, just to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to leave enough yarn so I can easily weave it through with this excess off to the side, and then I'll fasten off. I'll grab my darning weaving tapestry needle with yarn that is very, like, hairy. Like this you probably can't really see it on camera but it is be sure to roll the end as you're trying to feed it through you can even roll and fold like that as you're trying to feed it through the eye of the needle it'll just be able to go through it much easier all right and then we're going to go through some stitches 
in one direction like that, don't pull too tight, and then take a slightly different path, going back in the opposite direction, like that. Okay, once again, don't pull too tight. If you don't pull too tight, you won't need to reshape it. And then we are going to cut the tail without cutting our work. Like that. And then, yeah, weave in this beginning tail, and then I'll show you the, I'll do that, I'll weave in the beginning tail, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. This is my very beautiful scarf. For those of you who are curious, this scarf, I don't remember if I measured at the beginning or not. Uh, it's like three and three quarters. Um, wide so that's about 9.5 centimeters and then it's also 60 inches long which is 152.5 centimeters this only used one cake okay so if you want yours to be wider and longer or wider and longer <laughs> wider or longer or wider and longer if you get this this packet the same packet that comes with two crochet hooks and these cakes then you'll have more than enough yarn to you know make it as wide and as long as you want okay all right guys that is going to be it for this video but you know i'll see you in the next one in the meantime happy crocheting <laughs>